hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber I say welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back all right so today we'll be moving our spotlight to the country of the Gambia yes we'll be looking at a Gambian entrepreneur whose name is Mustafa Njai but before we proceed if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please kindly quickly smash the subscribe button and then we proceed thank you all right I know this channel is mainly about young Africans who are doing great stuff but yeah there are always exceptions and this is one of them so let's go down into the story mr. Mustafa Njai aka Taf also known as the youth man as he fondly calls himself is a 63 year old Gambian entrepreneur who is into real estate he's the founder CEO of Taf Africa Global a pan-african real estate development company with presence in over eight African countries Mr. Mustafa Njai is a great successful businessman who has no university degree yes he has no university degree in his words I didn't go to university after high school I discovered my passion for carpentry that led me to construction business all right so this was what happened after high school he went on to work for a British construction firm as an engineering um, assistant and while serving there he rose up through the ranks okay afterwards he moved on and joined a Spanish construction firm also in the Gambia worked there for a while and then he went ahead to set up his own business in the year 1990 which is still standing and waxing strong till date and that is the tough Africa global the vision of the company is to develop 1 million homes across the sub-saharan Africa in the next 20 years okay let's go a little bit deeper Mr. Mustafa Njai who is originally from the Gambia is currently based somehow in Nigeria and this is because he built the biggest estate in Port Harcourt River State Nigeria yes the estate known as Reef Taf Gulf Estate which is a thousand units estate Mr. Njai is an inspiration and he has a burning passion for young people he believes so much that no matter who you are no matter where you are you can make it and that is why without a university degree he went ahead to set up his own company but remember that he had to gather enough experience before going ahead to set up his company as a matter of fact, he completed his high school in the year 1975. So, begin to picture the, 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 the age gap. But this man is doing well for himself now. He has a couple of awards to his belt. I'll mention a few of them. The European Council for Global Business Award for Excellence. He got that in the year 1998. Gambian Businessman of the Year. In 1993 in 2004 and in 2006 the Gambian man of the year in 2006 is also the recipient of the CNBC AABLA award for entrepreneur of the year in the whole of West Africa Wow isn't this amazing mr. Njai is not stopping anytime soon as a matter of fact he he, he, he sponsors young people who are into entrepreneurship and supports their vision why are we looking at his story today 
I am here to tell you that as an African, you can do it. If Mr. Mustafa Njai could do it, you can do it. If Mr. Mustafa Njai could think outside of the box, he, he did not just think of conquering his country, the Gambia. He thought outside of Gambia and he set up a company that has a presence right now in over eight African countries. He also went into the heart of Nigeria to build the biggest estate in Port Harcourt River State, Nigeria. And the story of that estate is so amazing that when he got there, according to him, he was not even given the opportunity. Obviously, he is not a Nigerian. And he didn't even come across as one who had the experience or what it takes to execute the job. But he didn't give up. He didn't allow anybody to look down on him. He went ahead and made them believe in him. And then he got the contract. He got the plot of land. For those of you who don't know River State Nigeria, River State Nigeria is like is a riverine area. The lands there are a lot, but they are swampy, full of water and all that. So that was the land that Mr. Njai got in River State Nigeria, and he had to sand fill a huge portion of land just to make it. Um, just to make it dry, you know, to build on. And that was how he was able to partner with the River State government and they built the biggest estate in Port Harcourt River State, Nigeria, known as Reef Taf Gulf Estate. Inside that estate has 1,000 units of housing. If you're seeing this video, this is an inspiration. This story is an inspiration. The fact that you are an African does not limit you at all. And the fact that you're from a particular country in Africa does not stop you from expanding your business to another country in Africa. As a matter of fact, you should think of spreading your, your, your business, you should think of spreading your, your your vision to the whole of Africa, to conquering the whole of Africa. And if you have a vision, there is space for you. And that is one of the things that Mr. Mustafa Njai has been able to prove to us that it is possible. Anyways, thank you so much, Mr. Mustafa Njai, for being an inspiration. Thank you so much for letting us, the youth, know that it is possible. Thank you so much for, for letting us believe that we can have a company that is 100% African. The members of his, of, of his staff are all Africans. And that is a man that has an African mindset, that has Africa in mind. Thank you so much, Mr. Anjai. This is so amazing. This is interesting thank you so much once again mr njai for being an inspiration to the african youth thank you so much for letting us know that it is possible and thank you so much for having such a great passion for the african youth and for africa at large um thank you thank you very much god bless you god loves you please keep being an inspiration to us please don't stop we look forward to you achieving your um, your vision of building one million houses um, in, in the next 20 years. All right, I haven't said all that. Like I always say, this is my court and I do things the way I want. And I put it to you, Mr. Mustafa Jai, that you are guilty of all these allegations that has been laid against you. Yes. And... This is my verdict. You are hereby sentenced to many more years of groundbreaking records, many more years of excellence, many more years of prosperity, many more years of great achievements and the likes. I rest my case. 
Alright, if you are still here at the time of the video, you are the real MVP. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down there. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Till I come your way next time, I'll catch you in my next video. Stay safe. Be good.